Ruddock. Tight on Rush. And a lot of players ahead of him. Wallace could line it up. Rodney Wallace! Oh, and it's torn into the back of the net! Houghton. Barnes and Rush and Flowers. It hasn't got in. My word, they have ridden their luck, Southampton. Insane. Rosenthal has involved a lot. Barnes, off goes Burrows, there goes the pass. Here comes the chance for Liverpool, and Rosenthal collects the goal. It had an air of inevitability about it. Oh, it's over Dodd, it's collected by Barnes in a flash. In for Rush, and Flowers. Now Rosenthal. It's quite a comeback for Ronnie Rosenthal. Liverpool often prefer to play their corners short. It's a bit more productive from them than that. Shearer. Matissier. Oh, the Saints made a mistake. Wallace against Grobola. He's passed him, he must score, he has done, it's 2-2. And Glenn Hussein looks down in disgust. Letizia. Well read by Staunton. He had to be in there because the furthest forward for Southampton then was Harry Horn, who's been Staunton's responsibility this game. That's Staunton's pass, look at the length of that to rush. Houghton hits it! shot from Ray Houghton and Liverpool go the direct route to regain the lead. It was Vinnie Jones' long throw that led to the panic, that led to the fumble, that led to Ian Bryson becoming only the fourth player to score a league goal for Sheffield United this season. It's the first time for everything and who but Brian Clough and co will begrudge United their first three-pointer of the season. Bryson, in fact, was the last United player to touch the ball before Forrest equalised. This is all straight from the restart, don't forget. Roy Keane looking more and more like a Steve Hodge replica in that number six shirt, gliding through to score an excellent midfielder's goal. Now, talking of replicas, remember Stuart Pearce's goal at Queen's Park Rangers last week? Keane supplying, Pearce off balance, hitting the ball with the wrong side of his foot into the wrong corner, if you like. But he can't do it a third time. It was furious stuff at this point. Nothing new for United to be a goal down, but a brand new top flight experience to come back and win. Carl Bradshaw's cross. Bryson again, this time with a terrific header. Now to score three goals in a league match this season with another first for Dave Bassett's lads. Bradshaw again to top scorer Brian Dean, who I believe Leeds United have offered over a million pounds for. A priceless goal that, and who knows what it might lead to. Well done, the Blades. From one million-pound goalkeeper to another, Nigel Martin's long kick looked destined to go all the way to Tony Coton until Neil Poynton intervened. Further words, rather unnecessary. It was the first time City had failed to score in a league game this season. It was their first defeat since Peter Reid was appointed. Maybe they just lack Palace's ruthless streak. They certainly lack a match winner of Ian Wright's class. A goal of the day contender and no mistake. And with Graham Taylor watching as well. Not too much of the old Christmas spirit in evidence at White Hart Lane. Naeem had become the first of three players sent off by the time Luton scored after 12 minutes. Kingsley Black to Ian Dowie, scoring away from Kenilworth Road for the first time this season. Now Spurs equaliser was down to Gaza's strength and creative ability with only one point from their three previous games. They were in need of a bit of magic and Gaza supplied it, Paul Stewart supplying the rest.
on the hour and with Van den Howe and Luton's Kerry Hughes also taking an early bath Stuart Bundle in the winner only his third in the league this season Looking for their first league win under Terry Butcher, Coventry took the lead at Stamford Bridge half an hour from the end. Speedy's overhead attempt was blocked. Gallagher had no alternative but to have a go as well. But the difference is they're going in for Kevin Gallagher at the moment, six in seven games. But Coventry are losing out in the closing stages. Maybe their concentration is more than it should be. Chelsea, on the other hand, are winning games late on. Andy Townsend blasting in the equaliser. They really are on a high at the moment, Chelsea. Two goals in the last six minutes at Derby last week, two in the last ten against Coventry to extend their winning run to seven games. Dennis Wise turning in the winner. It'll be a very Merry Christmas down at the bridge. Captain Marvel was back at Wimbledon where Manchester United had never won. But it was a day of firsts and United's contribution was to come from behind after trailing to a John Fashion who goal for most of the match. It's one of the most prolific spells in Fash News career, if you count David Seaman's own goal at Highbury last week, which Fash has had the audacity to claim. Fash New had a hand in United's equaliser. Actually, it was a hand, an arm and a leg as Robson went crashing down in the penalty area. Steve Bruce in off a post. Now, United took the lead ten minutes later and with ten minutes to go. Mark Hughes was allowed to turn and score at Coventry last week. He capitalised on that extra yard of space again to do the same at Plough Lane. Look at the finished article at the moment, Hughes. The aggression is being channelled into goals and he surely would have got a second himself, but for Keith Curl's tackle interpreted by the referee as a professional foul. Sagers followed suit, Bruce went the other way, 3-1 United, and a somewhat flattering scoreline, it has to be said. Everton had their chances, but with only three league goals since Howard Kendall's return seven games ago, Kendall must soon be signing cheques instead of Christmas cards. John Polston won it for Norwich after Dale Gordon's shot came back off the coat. Ten Aston Villa players back behind the ball here. It's difficult for Arsenal to keep patient and keep probing away, and they lost their patience in the end. But they get it back with Thomas. Merson, great ball, Groves, first time to Smith, what a superb effort, and how was it kept out? Well, a wonderful save by Spink, got his left hand to that one, Alan. That was a marvellous move by Arsenal. Seen again running the ball outside his own penalty area. Smith broke for Groves, nice little ball to Merson. Groves again, Limpar, great, Emerson with the shot, tremendous save. Caution has crept in, Ormond Roy forward, back to him, as Daly hit the ground, it comes to Cascarino and now Platt, Platt, great save by Seaman, brave, quick and decisive, it looked as though Platt I found the way through. Leeds travel to Roker Park unbeaten in the last eight league games. Sunderland just one win in their last eight. Good effort in the first half, though, from Marco Gabbiadini. Off the crossbar. Sunderland's John Kay becomes the fifth First Division player to be sent off this weekend for a late challenge on Peter Haddock. But Sunderland hold on until 11 minutes from time and they're a bit unfortunate to concede the only goal of the game. Mel Sterland with the shot stopped by Tony Norman and just spinning over the line. Enough to give victory to United and consolidate that place in the top six. Rangers' wretched run of nine consecutive defeats hasn't stopped Roy Wegley from getting his share of goals. Some doubt, though, whether this one actually crossed the line, his 14th of the season. The linesman was sure it did. Rangers ahead after 33 minutes. Mark Wright won't want to see that clearance again, but the ball clearly over the line as it crashes down off Shilton's crossbar. Rangers well on their way to their first league win since October. In injury time, though, their makeshift defence finally cracks. Dean Saunders pops up for his 13th of the season. Derby share the points.